What's Gucci Fit Fam? Uh, Thursday AM on the way to the gym. Uh, it's about to be a dope day. Uh, I'll see you guys along the way. Hell yeah. Guys, check this out. He may well just be the fittest chef I've ever seen. The fittest chef. Guys, meet. Hey, chill out in a push-up position for a second. Guys, this is Kyle. Say what's good. What's Gucci? They call him the culinary commander. They call him the food ferocious phenomenon. His name is Kyle. Say what's Gucci? What's Gucci, man? Say he knows the movement. He knows the movement. What's Gucci? Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, come on! Flex on him, man! Flex on him! Damn! Just got done with cardio. Uh, I'm doing 350 calories, uh, like five days a week right now. Um, I stay on the treadmill. Uh, I feel super good. What is it? Thursday. Uh, it's been a super good day. I literally feel like I've been on my computer the entire day. Laptop boys, shout out. Shout out vlog boys. Shout out Lambos and lattes. Shout out Vlogception, vlog boys. Yeah, I'm off to go uh, do a little video on um, some cool little recipes. We got cooking with Kyle. Chef Curry with the pot boy. 360 with the wrist boy. Don't go call me the Australian Drake just yet. Um, anyway. I'm gonna check in with you guys in a second when we do this video. Uh, Thursday, Hype Squad. We stay in lit. Welcome to Cooking with Kyle. This is my culinary karate kid Kyle friend and uh, we're gonna cook some chili today to start with. These are a bunch of meals that he made on the 60 day challenge and uh, you'll see his photos like tomorrow. He's quite possibly one of the most shredded people I've ever seen. Yeah, today we're gonna make a few meals. Kyle's like a professional chef, that's what he does for a living, um, aside from getting shredded. Um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So Kyle's gonna tell us what the first one is and we're gonna chef curry with the pot. Let's go. All right, so hi Fit Fam, first of all. Um, so t like Mike said, we're gonna do the chili today. Uh, turkey, so we're gonna keep it healthy. Uh, Mike likes 97.3. Yeah, because 99.1 is for suckers on the challenge. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil. Or, Ooh, this is real olive oil. Use. This ain't that like spray that we're using on the challenge. So before we get too far into it, this is not challenge approved diet. Um, we're making a few uh, changes. He did eat this on the challenge, but would have done stuff like not have the oil oh, and yes. use the 99.1, but we're off the challenge now, we're reverse dieting, so we're gonna be a little bit more lenient. However, it is super macro friendly and healthy. Yes, but definitely when I was on the challenge, I used uh, zero calorie spray or like PAM or uh, zero calorie olive oil. Is that okay? Yeah. That was okay, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever you did, it worked, so you did just <laughs> keep doing that. So, uh, I'm gonna start off with uh, onions and garlic for uh, aromatics. Aromatics out here. Word of the day, right? Word of the day. See, we're not just a, a fitness channel. We're gonna inform you on all the words of your vocabulary. And then, once this uh, starts sweating, like we do in boot camp all the time. Pop and Molly, we sweat. Oh! You smell that? Oh! If you guys can smell what I'm smelling, I feel like we're on like Fox 5 News and we're in like a cooking, cooking segment. Um, and I'm like that, I'm the weird like host who just like makes dumb remarks. But anyway, Carl's killing the game. We could eat that, I'll eat that. We don't even need to add nothing, I'll eat this. Man, wait till you taste this one. Uh, we're gonna add some of the ground turkey now after the onions and garlic's been sweated. Uh, I like to kind of just chop it down, if you can see it, because I don't really like the strandy kind of lift to the meat. It's kind of weird for me. I like like the ground kind of uh, tricky. And then we're gonna start doing the um, 
the spices. We have chili powder and paprika. Oh! Got about two uh, tablespoons of chili powder and about uh, a teaspoon of paprika in there. Nice. <clears throat> and that's gonna give us a bit of spice or what? Yeah, definitely. And then that's gonna be like the taste of the chili. That's where you're gonna get that like chili from. I got some uh, oregano. In Australia, fun fact, we call that oregano. Not oregano, it's oregano in Australia. Um, but we'll call it oregano today. Some cumin after that too. Uh, I would say probably for eight ounces of meat, probably like two teaspoons is enough. You don't want to go too much. I like it, I like it. And then some garlic powder and onion powder. Can't forget those two, those are staples. And then some tomato sauce. Uh, what, uh, what, what kind of tomato sauce do you like? What's your favorite? So I use this no salt added hunt. So we're gonna do about half a cup of that. I like it, I like it. For the liquid, we got some unsalted chicken stock. Hey, so stop acting so salty out there. It's very important uh, to have that liquid in there because otherwise it's gonna be too thick. I would say just to cover the meat because um, otherwise you're gonna have soup. You want kind of a stew and not a soup. And then, you know, with TV magic, it should probably look a little like this when it's done. Ooh! Now, do you need some seasoning on this? Like maybe some salt? Uh, maybe not during the challenge, because I, I didn't during the challenge. I honestly, I just let the meat be the meat and, uh, you know, have the flavor of the tomatoes and all the other stuff. I like it. Uh, but since, you know, we're, we're not on well, the go ahead and... let's do a little bit of seasoning. I didn't season it yet, so let's, uh, Oh, salt bay. <laughs> Boom! Check that out. Boom! I think I missed the majority of the salt outside of the pot, but hey, you get the deal. That, my friends, is that done? Yeah. Do you see how quick that was? That was in real time. That was literally like maybe three minutes. That looks legit. It smells ridiculous. I'm gonna taste that. Damn, I feel like a legit, like, I feel like we're on the news right now. Ooh. Let's try a little bit of that. And they're saying fake news. I'm gonna tell you how it really tastes. It's terrible, I'm gonna tell you guys. <laughs> If it's really bad. <laughs> On a scale of 10, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a 10. That's a game changer. That is certified game changer. That's game changer. Yeah, I might wanna hit that up. He's gonna have a little taste, he's gonna have a little taste. Oh, also, if you wanted to add a little bit of spice. Some, yes. Some chipotle peppers too. Yes, I'm trying to get spicy. Okay. What's happening? Round two. Anyway, uh, barbecue chicken. We ready for some barbecue chicken? So we're gonna start off with a um, low sugar barbecue sauce that it we get uh, from, where we get it from? Sprouts? Sprouts. Sprouts. Shout out Sprouts. Get the hook up, get the hook up. Comment below if you work at Sprouts. Hummy hook up. You know what it is. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit of olive oil. Just a dash. Just so that just uh, we can start the garlic and onions again. You may be asking about the garlic. We're just going to get a little sweat. And also like Keith. You might uh, be asking why or how I got these garlics so small. Uh, in the beginning of the week, we, we buy really small garlic. Uh, garlic cloves and we run, in through, run it through the uh, food processor so we get enough garlic for the week and then we can cook you know, meal prep for the whole week, pretty much. So, facts. See. That's a uh, hack number one. Uh, getting shredded meal prep hack number one. Dice your garlic at the start of the week. Boom. You heard it here first. Do a little bit of onions. Um, a little bit of barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. So I use the um, low sugar. Is it G Hughes? G Shout out my homie G Hughes. G Money. Uh, G Money, G Hughes. Um, you can find him at Sprouts. My boy Miguel will uh, hook it up for you guys. He knows where to find him. I like a little bit of mustard just yep. to give it a little bit of the, uh, the tanginess and the acidicness, I guess you could say. I like it. And then we'll let that hang out for a little bit. And then uh, I wanted to show you guys how I do the shredded chicken real quick. Uh, I season it 
with a little bit of the garlic lovers. Nice. Shout outs to Flavor God. If you guys like love garlic, then you're gonna love garlic lovers Flavor God. That little bit of. I think we should yeah. actually start calling Carl Flavor God at the gym. Uh, whatever. I'm not gonna start a movement, but if you wanna follow it, follow it. Could you, uh. Oh, I'll be the honest. So, we're gonna take this chicken. Um, again, don't go call me like a magician or anything, but I'm gonna put this in there and then I'm gonna see if I can just get speed up the process and get out like some shredded chicken real quick, okay? Um, cool. Anyway, uh, chicken's gonna go in the oven. Uh, like so, and then, oh look at that, boom, shredded chicken. Don't go uh, calling me a, a magician, but this smells reliable, shredded chicken. Um, how do you normally like to shred the chicken? Um, not on his abs, I know what you're thinking. How do you normally like to shred the chicken? So what you could do is you could grab um, two forks and just spread, you know, shred it, but I would cook it uh, like 45 minutes or so, right. so that the chicken is uh, shreddable because if it's if it's like kind of just done, um, it doesn't shred that good. And I know what you're thinking. If you guys eat this food, the chicken won't be the only thing getting shredded this year. Exactly. Hey. So we're gonna throw this chicken into the barbecue sauce. That's Rose. Say hi, Rose. Also, if you guys didn't know, Rose um, drives a G wagon. Literally, she has like a little baby G wagon. Um, I might even try and get one of my little uh, um, cover photos for one of my videos. You know, G wagon. I don't know if I'll fit, but um, it's it's sick. It's like a it's like a baby size G wagon. So, uh, this shredded chicken. We pour the chicken in the sauce, right? Yes, sir. Cool. I know a lot of our members. You guys work super long hours. You guys come to the gym and crush it. Some of you guys are doing extra cardio. Um, you don't have a lot of spare time. Boom. Problem solved. Uh, young Carl here is like whipping up. Uh, like gourmet meals in two minutes. Um, don't go calling him the two minute man. Um, that's that's not what I want to be <laughs> repping <reputable> for. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna throw some uh, green on there because green is healthy. Oh, oh, we're gonna call him Chives Bay. Yeah, real healthy, real quick. And if you guys want to guess him at what I think these macronutrients would be, uh, just by looking at that, I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna guess that that's about four or five ounces of chicken, uh, and that's about the same amount of ounces of potatoes. So I would guess that that is about 35 grams of protein and about 35 grams of carbohydrates and you'd probably be under seven or eight fat just depending on the oil. Boom, that meal right there is Kyle approved. <laughs> What's happening? Round three. We back at you like a, um, I don't know, we're back at you. Anyway, we're making scrimps out here. This is a what kind of shrimp are we making? Curry scrimps. Curry scrimps. Um, for those of you guys out there that don't know what we're saying, it is a shrimp, uh, AKA in Australia we call them prawns. Again, fun fact. Um, cool, we're making curry shrimps. I know a lot of you guys are spice fiends. Uh, so we're about to give you your fix. Um, how are we starting this one? As always, a little bit of lubrication. Hey yo! As always, we want uh, our pan to be super hot because we're gonna saute. Smoke it! I know what you guys are thinking. That ain't just me and Kai. Oh, we sizzling. We sizzling. Nice. Well, we're putting our garlic, chives and friend garlic. And also, another fun fact about your boy Michael. Uh, like three or four years ago, I tried to be a really good uh, boyfriend and cook um, pesto for my now wife Aji. And uh, I didn't realize that a clove of garlic was like one of those little things. So I was using the uh, heads of garlic uh, in the recipe. So I think I put three whole heads of garlic in my recipe of pesto. Uh, let's just say it wasn't that good. Um, but as always, it's the thought that count. We were starving, but the thought was nice. A little bit of sugar snap peas. I feel like uh, this dish is really good with the sugar snap peas. Oh yeah. And then a little bit of uh, Bell peppers? Bell peppers, sugar snap peas, onions, garlic. We're on a good, we're on a good uh, path right now. I like it. Hello. Oh, right. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. I'll show you guys how it's done. Oh. Oh. With the wrist motion. Oh. Look, look at the flick of the wrist. 360 with the wrist, boy. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna start adding the shrimps. Perfect, shrimp. These are nice and big uh, shrimps you got going. 
So this, I weighed it out to eight ounces for uh, the Husky fellas like myself. Nice, yeah. He's post-challenge, uh, so you could say he is quote unquote on the game train now. Um, trying to get big. He's trying to get swole. He's trying to look like an Asian Brad Pitt out of Troy. <laughs> um, cool. And shrimps go cook it super quick, right? Yes, sir. Cool. So, so they done? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> a good indication of uh, the shrimp being done is the orange. Perfect. Orange like the Lambo. I uh, promised my mom back in the day. Shout out mom, Lambos and lattes. Stay tuned. So I'm just gonna let the shrimp uh, cook the rest of the way. The veggies are gonna be done by the shrimp, uh, by the time the shrimp gets done. When I was on the challenge, uh, I used a lot of the liquid in the nails. Cool. So could you do the irons? Okay, how do you want me to do this bad boy? Just a little bit of... Oh yeah. That's okay. good. Just like that. Boom. And then, some pepper. Okay. Perfect, pepper. We imported this pepper from, uh, from actual, from Japan, man. Yeah. And we put it in this, it's, it's whatevs. Um, you guys don't have to import your pepper. Um, you can also get it from Sprouts. Um, but yeah, anyway, obviously, you could put, uh, what are these things? Uh, green onions. These are green onions. You can put these on regular, but we ain't regular. So uh, again, what you want to do is you want to angle your wrist. You can probably see if you go sideways, you want to angle it. Um, have it up like it's like a goose uh, like a gooseneck. And then you just want to, Flickle that off. It's gonna come off your elbow like that if you can do it professionally like me. Boom. Look at that. See that? A little bit uh, okay. flicky flicky. So if you wanted to make it extra spicy for the Sticky spicy spice. people. Uh, you know, know who you are. You spice addicts. You know who you are. What are we adding here? A little bit of the curry. The Madras curry. We use uh, a little bit of the, the Indian. So wait, you find this is Sprouts as well? Yes, sir. Sprouts. And this is... We need a sponsor here. Sprouts. Sponsor us. Kyle Zero and Michael's calories. Cooking Show, sponsor us. Oh. Smell that, it smells really curry. Aromatic. That smells delightful. And I'm not even a spicy person. Um, I know you guys have seen me dance, but that's, that's different spice. Um, we're talking about food, I don't even really like spicy, but um, I'm gonna, this smells delightful. And um, if I die of sweat, I'll do it for this food because it smells too damn good. I wish you guys could smell what, what we're smelling. And like you said, these are, these are eight ounces of shrimps. That looks like a dope meal right there. That's gonna be filling. Um, you obviously wanna throw some uh, greenery on top because boom. Um, so what do you wanna call this one? You're gonna call this I'm gonna call Kyle's this. curry shrimps? Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Nice, um, beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna have a, I'm gonna taste test this one. Hopefully you like them. Oh, okay, so Kyle's gonna show me up with the chopsticks, whatevs. I can use chopsticks. Um, Australia's technically an Asian country. Um, we'll try this. I don't wanna compare it to the first dish, it's completely different. That is a 10. That, my friend, is a 10 out of 10. You give um, a 10. <laughs> the other one's a 10, so they're, they're 10s. 10s all around, delightful. So, those are three dishes that you can do at home. Very easy, very fast. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll be uh, back on this segment segment again uh, in the near future. So we we'll actually take requests for what you guys want us to cook. Anything, I'm saying anything. Comment below, like, share, subscribe. Merch dropping soon. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. We should bow to finish. It's out of respect. Um, perfect. Um, I respect you more because I bowed low. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're gonna get this right. We're gonna.